Yes, yes, and yes. These lights are absolutely worth it. Holy shit, they look amazing on the house. But there's a few things you need to know. All right, guys, these little square lights look great on your house. I can't even lie, but there are a few little things that I wish were different or available that could affect whether or not you decide to pick these up for yourself. Now, at the end of this video, I will show a few of my favorite scenes, but these lights look so good. I can't make you wait to the end to see them. You need to see them now. So I'm going to show them to you now. And then we're going to jump back into it and talk about all those little things that I think you should know before you go out and spend your hard earned money on these lights. Okay, so Gobi sells these lights in three different variations, 50 foot, 100 foot, and then 150 foot. These lights aren't new. They've been out for a few years, but the problem that I've had with them is that they didn't sell anything more than 100 feet before. Now they have the 150 foot. Now you may be thinking 150 foot for a roof line, that sounds crazy, but understand my roof line was overly complex and I already knew exactly how many feet I would need because I had LED lights on my home before. That being said, I received my 150 foot box. In my box, there were three boxes. Each one of those boxes contained three 16 by four feet long LED strips. In addition to that, it also contained adhesive cable management clips with screws, and then it also had additional 3M tape for your LED lights. Now, I will tell you that the screws that come with the adhesive aren't that great. They did not work on my roof. I ended up using something else to make them work in the spots that I needed them. The last box contained your incredibly heavy power brick, two extension cables, and then your LED controller. Now, my house has three different gaps. So problem one was I needed another extension cable. I reached out to Gobi. I asked Gobi if they could sell me an additional extension cable. I received a response back from Gobi saying that they did not sell the additional accessory. So obviously, where did I go next? Amazon. I took some of the ones that I bought from Amazon. I altered them and then I used those for my LED lights. Now you need to understand Govi doesn't recommend this and I'm not telling you to do it. If you mess up your lights that is on you. Guys, Govi not selling additional extension cables doesn't even make sense. They offer these LED lights. They offer the extension cables with the 100 foot and the 150 foot. Why not just offer an accessory of the additional extension cable? I'm not really sure what Govi's plan is behind it. But man, it is annoying not to be able to just grab additional extension cables, even if your total distance needs to be the 150 foot, at least give us the opportunity to make more than two gaps. And while we're on the subject of extending these lights, if you attempt to push them past the recommended 150 feet, you absolutely will suffer from power loss and flickering on those last strings. So this brings me to my problem too. For me, it required power injection. Now, Govi doesn't recommend you cut these strips. So cutting them, wiring them, and splicing them was completely out. They're just too expensive to constantly test whether or not cutting can work. So what I ended up doing was buying another 50 foot run, which gave me another power brick. And I decided to split my distance of the cables across my house based on where my outlet on top of my house was. So as far as installation goes, 
these things were super easy to put up on your house. The 3M tape on the back of these square LED lights is not bad at all. It is very good. The only few issues that I have with installing these lights is one, if you end up with this wire being loose at all, then your 3M tape will likely fail on one of those square LEDs. So obviously you'll need to use your additional clips and brackets and things like that in order to secure it to your roof. Issue number three, why are they only white? Why is it that white is the only option that we have? Do you know many roof lines that are white? Because I don't. My roof line is not white. So these things stand out. And I mean, if you're standing under my house, you can absolutely see the wire and see the square LED. In my opinion, it's so easy to either make this a brown wire, a black wire, or a white wire. Give folks the options to change the color based on their roof line. It's another reason I decided to go out and buy black three pin connector strips. Now, remember, these required alteration in order to work. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't guarantee you that the one strip that I actually killed wasn't because I used these strips. I can only tell you that I have them connected on three gaps on my roof and they work fine right now. Issue number four, and probably not a big deal to those of you who have straight roof lines, but those of you who have arcs and different gaps and different types of roof lines, you may find this a little troublesome. The lights themselves are set at certain lengths. That means if you have a section of your roof that let's say, for example, is 24 feet, that means that you would need a 16.4 foot cable plus a 16.4 foot cable. Now, if you're doing the math, you will understand that there's a lot of extra feet after that 24 foot run of your roof. You can't cut these. You can't break them down. You essentially have to tuck those away somewhere. Granted, I figured out ways to make it work for my roof line, but there are places that I wish I could have put some additional lights that I couldn't because it didn't make any sense to connect a whole nother strip for two to three feet. If there was a way to have additional extension options like a three foot or a two foot additional accessories on top of what you could already purchase, then I could see these things being unstoppable in today's market. So before you go out and you buy these lights, make sure you know a few things. One, how many gaps are you going to need to skip on your roof? Because if it's more than two, you need to understand there will be an additional cost for you to go out and find extension cables and then manipulate those in the way that you need them to work. Two, understand exactly how far you need to go. Is it 50 feet for your roof line? Is it 100 feet? Are you wrapping your entire roof from front to back? How many feet do you need? You can figure out ways online to measure your roof line, but I would absolutely recommend that you do that before you buy whatever you buy. Three, is the white cable gonna bother you? Because if it is, you're gonna have to wait until they come out with something else because right now it's only white cable. Four. If you are going to run this on your house, you need to understand exactly how far each will go. Because if you go too far on this end, you're going to need to do something with the extra cables because you cannot cut them. All in all, these lights look really good on the house. They far exceed my expectations. Look at the competition. You either can pay thousands of dollars for jellyfish or companies similar or you can completely DIY your setup. Now there's a lot of people that aren't comfortable with DIY. And the real problem with DIY is understanding power injection. Because after so many feet, the next set of wires need additional power. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that it's not worth the money. It absolutely is. If you are tired of climbing that ladder year after year, putting lights up, taking lights down. If you want to add some additional ambient to your holidays, if you want to light your neighborhood up for a party or an event or any of that stuff, adding permanent lights is a great way to do it. I've done the DIY way and I've done this Gobi way. And if I'm truly comparing the two for the price to what you get, Gobi gives you a lot of bang for the buck. Also, as a side note, this channel is taking more of a shift. It's going to be really directed towards tech, RGB lighting, customizations, DIY type stuff. There will still be gaming on the channel because I love to game. So why not add it here? 
but a lot of the content that I will post on YouTube will be DIY things or custom LEDs or just RGB stuff because I really love that kind of stuff, just in general tech. So if you like that, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell on the side so you can stay completely up to date as I release videos. And then don't forget to comment. Leave comments, tell me what you think about the videos, tell me what you think about the products that I'm showing, or just tell me what you think about some of the stuff that I'm doing. If you have better ways to do some of the stuff than I'm doing it, then absolutely share those with me. Until my next video, guys, y'all take care. Y'all have a good one. Deuces.